What are the laws and regulations that you need to know as a CYSA Plus certified professional? In this video, we're going to cover several laws that you need to be aware of for the certification exam. But first, if this is the first time that we're meeting, welcome to my channel. My name is John Good, and here I get to spread my passion for cybersecurity training, tips and tricks, and career advice to help you go further. Remember to smash the thumbs up to like this video, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss future content, and make sure to leave a comment for the YouTube algorithm. If you like my training and you want more, check out my website at johngood.com to get access to training courses about distracting interruptions, or advertisements. Make sure that you check out my getting started link in the description and sign up for my newsletter to get a free copy of my ebook on cybersecurity careers. You can also join me on the Discord server. The link is down in the description. All right, let's get into the video. In cybersecurity, your daily job is going to be impacted by laws and regulations in some way. Think about if you work for a global company, your company is going to have to abide by the laws in every country that you operate in. Let's talk about some of the major regulations that exist in the United States. The Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, or HIPAA, deals with privacy rules affecting healthcare providers, health insurers, and health information clearinghouses. Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard, or PCI DSS, details requirements for the storage, processing, and transmission of debit and credit card information. Now, a key point about PCI DSS is that it's not a law but credit card merchants are going to require it from you. Graham-Leach-Bliley Act, GLBA, which requires financial institutions to have a formal security program and to designate somebody with ultimate responsibility for that program. The Sarbanes-Oxley Act applies to financial records of publicly traded companies, and it puts certain requirements on the IT systems that store and process the financial records. The Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act, which requires educational institutes like universities to implement security and privacy protections in place for educational records of students. There's also laws that require data breach notifications to individuals whose records are accessed in a breach. When it comes to legal requirements, you should always seek the advice of your legal counsel. Don't do it on your own. As cybersecurity professionals, we're not experts of the law and we should never claim to be. Question of the day, which laws or regulations do you have experience with? Let me know down in the comment section below. In this video, we covered several laws that you need to be aware of for the CYSA Plus certification. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my website at johngood.com for more training about distracting interruptions or advertisements, and I'll see you next time.